Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Romans 14.1. Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment of disputable matters. So just remember to be tolerable. You know, that's the one thing in the world right now that we need is a lot of, of toleration. So, all right. I did sewing um, Sunday. And I have this outfit complete except for, I know you guys are getting tired of hearing that. Okay, so I even made this skirt. I have the skirt done. It's hemmed. The jacket, the sleeves are hemmed. This is hemmed. Everything. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I wanted to put a couple of pleats back here um, in hopes that it would fit better on me. Um, my issue, and I, I'm thinking I might. Remember, I had to uh, puff this up for the last time I made an outfit. And I'm thinking I need to puff this up because while the mannequin is the same with the round as me, she is not built like me. Let me get over here. She's not built like me. I got this, okay? And she doesn't. So while she's the same diameter, it lays better on her. So, um... One of the things that I've decided is, number one, I don't like this collar. I won't be repeating this collar. Um, I don't like this uh, the way it lays. So I've pinned it in hopes of um, fixing it. I even have my, my cam snap on there. Um, but I'm hoping to iron this and make this lay a little bit better and see how it lays on me. So I did a lot of work on that. And then, uh, let me get over here. It's the end of February again. So I have done a bunch of the bags. Now, I did them and I literally like ran out of time. So I have till the end of March to get 10 more done. I had three that I did extra last month. That just sat there because I wanted to work on this and some other things. And so um, I did these and I, I'll show you the stages that I'm not going to show you every bag. Um, but I have them to this stage. So the only thing I have to do is hem this, turn the handles, and then attach them. So um, I'm going to work one night just to turn all the handles. Um just because, and then I'll get them pressed, and then all I have to do is hem these and uh, put the handles on them. And I literally will be ahead because I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I did eighteen plus the three that I already had that I just need to. Um, sew the handles on. I already have them hemmed and I just need to sew them. So that's almost two months worth. And I really am trying to get them done so that you guys can quit hearing about them. So if you remember, I had two big old stacks of them and this is what I have left. Um, so I just have this left after I get these done. So, um, I'm hoping next month to complete uh, and complete them ahead of schedule. Then I'll be done, you know, and that'll get that out of the way. Uh, it also gets rid of one tote of fabric. So, um, I had all of them in one little tote. I am trying this year to use up everything and get, I, I used to be a one project person. I'd have one sewing and one crochet or knitting or whatever that I worked on. And I didn't have a lot of stash. Remember, if you followed us at all, okay, and, and some of you may not know, um, I still have the tiny house at the farm. And I plan to live there. Work has stopped because of circumstances at this point. But that is my home. I will finish it. And I will live there. That means I can't have a lot of stash. Um, I will buy just the fabric I need for whatever I'm making. I will buy just the yarn for whatever I'm making. And I will use those things up. 
Um, that also means that I have a lot of fleece that I need to get washed and spun. Um, I have some here that I need to get done and I might start working on that. I don't want to do another podcast about spinning, so I don't know where I'll put it in, but yeah, I, I've got projects I need to get done. And that is this year's goal is to use up or come close to using up what is considered stash, you know, projects that I had planned and here they are laid out. I just need to do them. That's what I want to have done. Okay. I will always have maybe a skein or two extra, um, for yarn and I will always have one or two. I'll, I'll have gift bags around and I probably will have things, you know, around just not in bulk. Um, when I move into the tiny house, I want just the things I need. So, um, yeah, so I worked on that. I also, and you can't see it because I set the computer. Well, I guess I could hang on. I did some other little things. Um, this is one of them. I was pressing it. So I've wore this shirt a couple of times that I, I made. Um, if you followed me, you know that I made it just for work. But I put a couple of darts in it because when you put the belt on, it kind of poops out because there's too much. So I put a couple of darts in it and it makes it way better. Um, just saying, you know, just cause I make something doesn't mean I don't alter it as I go. <laughs> One day it's going to fit me perfect and I won't be needing it. Just saying. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. That's really all I have in sewing is I have made those, um, alterations, made those bags and got this to this point. Hopefully the next week you will see this off the mannequin. Okay. Uh, other than that, I have some plans to make some, uh, I have some plans to make pants out of this kind of material. Um, I'll have to get a picture of the tag because it's, I read it, it, it's basically like a double stitch, double knit. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's a double knit type polyester texture fabric. Um, I think one yard I should be able to get a pair of pants out of. So I want to catch it on sale though. And I'm going to make several different colored pairs of pants that I like and I like the way they fit. Um, and that's my next thing. Skirts are easy. Getting the pants for me, getting the crotch of the pants right is hard. So we'll see how that goes because like I said, I sew with no pattern. So I will draw it out, see what I come up with and go. From there. So. All right. I'm going to get off here. I know it's short. Um, if you watched the other one, I'm just going to, you know, like I always do, do kind of a little recap, had some things going on at work. Um, a possible job opportunity. Um, it hasn't come to pass yet. Uh, I have applied though. Um, a good friend of ours, if, if you're watching and you remember the little guy that I babysat, and I call him the littles at the farm. Um, little man's dad passed away at the age of 36. So, um, yeah, it, it's been a rough week. Just one that, I don't know, it, here's the thing, since I found out it happened, um, and I've been in contact with them, but I've just been very blah. And I know that they say you're not supposed to bury your children. He's not mine, okay? He went to school with my daughter. His ex-wife was cheerleader with my daughter. They just were, were friends, you know? I can't imagine what those parents are going through. Um, but my heart is with Slack and Corp. And Slack stayed with me. Um, they went through some rough times before they got divorced and they didn't have money and needed a babysitter. So I babysat for them. Um, RJ used to go and change her tires. She, he was the one she'd call when something went wrong. Um, he'd fix her truck change the flat on the tire, on the car, um, get her where she needed to be. I'd pick up Corbin from school, bring him back, him and Slack would hang out, get their homework done and 
you know, when she got off from work, uh, she'd come pick them up. So it, they were fixtures at our house and it kind of was a staff. So that one was rough. He was only like 36 years old. I just been blah. Um, working on getting back to being me all week. I have not cleaned the house. If you guys had seen this play, I picked this up just for this and only cleared this. If you saw the desk and everything else, you would be like, Oh my God, it's just cluttery. Um, I finally did the dishes yesterday after about three days of not. <laughs> There's only two of us. So yeah. Um, it, it is what it is. Okay, I've got the laundry caught up. I hadn't done laundry in a while. And so, it was just a rough blow trying to get back to being me still have a funeral to attend, but what will be, will be, and I'm just going to have faith. So if y'all can send me some good mojo to make me feel better. Um, just to, I'm normally a pretty bubbly person and I'm not right now. So, all right, I'm gonna let y'all off here. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.